Well, things just went final here at McKeon Park in the regular season finale between the Falmouth Commodores and Hyannis Harborhawks. And the news was pretty good for the Doors, wouldn't you say? 12-5, to <laughs> your final score. Falmouth staying hot after the All-Star break. Ten runs in its last game before the break. A dozen today against the division-leading Harbor Hawks. Carter Bainbridge, along with Trey Redfield, on closing the door. We just finished up with this game, Trey, and we saw firsthand an offensive explosion from the doors. Explosion, I think, Carter, is an understatement. Four runs put up in the sixth, three in the seventh, two in the eighth, and two in the ninth. It's something very similar that we saw against the Bourne Braves, where the Falmouth Commodores scored runs in the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth innings, propelling to that 10-3 victory at Bourne. But it's so important for the bats to keep going, to stay hot. You know, we're, we're going to talk to Colby Holzer here in a little bit, but he had a hot bat as well. He had a home run, a couple of doubles, a single. He was just one triple away from the cycle. So really important for the bats to get going now. Now we're going into the final stretch. I mean, we still don't know if Falmouth's going to be a four seed, maybe even a three seed come playoff time. Well, if the Doors continue to play hot baseball, they very well could be a three seed in the playoffs. They're in fourth place right now and picked up more points tonight, courtesy of some very hot evenings from some players in particular. Colby Halter, four for five with a home run. Jace Borfin with a two-run home run as well. Corey Collins had two knocked in tonight. So all around, most of the guys in the lineup ended up producing some pretty gaudy stat lines in support of some good relief pitching from the Falmouth bullpen tonight, namely Nolan Moore. Nolan Moore was the one that got the win because Will Johnson didn't go the full five innings to have a, 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 an official decision. But Moore gave up just one earned run. The other was unearned. But it's really good to see Nolan Moore, you know, get back into the swing of things. He had an appearance on opening night against the Harwich Mariners, got released, was with the New Britain Bees in the Futures League, and now is back with the Falmouth Commodores. I mean, just seeing him today have a smile on his face came right up to me and said, hey, it's great to see you again, right? And, and I'll tell you what, it's sure as it's great to see Nolan Nolan Moore, too, because he looked dominant. You know, he doesn't bring much velocity to the table, but it works in his favor. He's more of a control pitcher, and he had that tonight. And who also, you know who else had control? Caleb Corbett. He won an inning and a third shutout ball to his name. That'll play any day of the week. Corbett getting his first shutout appearance since July 2nd against the Bourne Braves at Dorn Park. So the Doors got strong work out of the bullpen. You'll hear more from Nolan Moore later in this closing the door, but... The Doors got good work out of the bullpen today in support of the explosive offense, like we said. No one more in particular, three innings today. Caleb Corbett with the shutout outing. And then A.J. Causey, the newcomer, pitched the ninth inning for Falmouth tonight. But the Doors are back in action tomorrow, now armed with a 500 record, 17, 17, and 3, as we venture down the home stretch of this season. Only seven games left in the regular season. One against Katuit, one against Bourne, one against Wareham. Hyannis is done, but an Eastern Division opponent awaits tomorrow in the Harwich Mariners. And the Harwich Mariners are coming off of a dominant 10-2 win against the Brewster Whitecaps. The Eastern Division, Carter, is getting really, really interesting. Two, three, and four are bunched up by just a couple of points with the Brewster Whitecaps, the Harwich Mariners, and the Orleans Firebirds, who had a comeback win against the Chatham Anglers tonight. So the East Division is really, really odd, but the Mariner back are starting to show in the way that I thought that they were going to show this season. Harwich was my championship was my championship pick because of the bats that Harwich brings to the table. It's going to be really exciting to see which fireworks pop off. Will it be Brock Wilkin? Will it be Colby Halter again? So many names to think about going into tomorrow with guys coming up to the plate. Should be a fun one. So some players who were featured in the All-Star game will be present tomorrow between Falmouth and Harwich. 6 p.m. first pitch from the Gov. You can catch me, Trey Redfield, and Logan Sanfarenko on the Falmouth Commodores YouTube channel for another broadcast, as is the usual home for those. Again, the Doors just wrapped up a 12-5 win over the Hyannis Harbor Hawks here at McKeon Park. But our field reporter, Logan Sanfarenko, has more with one of today's feature players. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Florida infielder Colby Halter. Colby, four for five on the night, three runs driven in, including a home run, which now puts you atop of the Kate League. You're currently tied with Tyler Johnson of the Katuit Kettleers with seven home runs. How are you feeling after your performance? Yeah, it uh, feels good. I'd like to give a shout out to Priscilla for my pecan croissant and the hug. That does it every time. We well, talked about the croissant and the hug. Was it also the uh, fishing trip you guys took yesterday? Yeah, I'd have to say that definitely helped a little bit too. Did you catch anything or, or was it just Peyton Stovall as we see stuff coming in from the dugout off the arm of Alex Mooney? No, I caught a striper. I set Stovey up with that other striper too. So, 
Hey, the doors are hot right now. You guys going in currently seven point lead over the Wareham Gateman. What's the mindset for the remaining seven games of the regular season? Yeah, you know, the doors are, uh, we're getting hot at the right time. So we're going to go on a run here, hopefully, and um, keep having fun every single day. Well, you talked about it with me personally about the triple. You were one triple away from getting the cycle, but that's a tough one, right? Yeah, it's always the hardest. <laughs> Colby Halter, Florida infielder, four for five on the night. Three runs driven in, including a solo home run. Colby and the boys will be back at the Gov tomorrow. We're also going to talk to Nolan Moore, who was a relief pitcher today for the Falmouth Commodores.